Hello, welcome to another Beauty Box unboxing. This is the fourth video I've done in a day. It's the most videos I've ever done in one day, so I am feeling quite pleased with myself. This is actually one of my subscription boxes. It is Rockerbox for April 2023. So this is a monthly subscription box. Their most flexible plan costs £15 per month, but you do have to pay delivery charges on top of that of £3.95. There are cheaper plans where you're tied in for a period of time. And at the moment, you can get 50% off your first box if you use the code FIRSTBOX50. So with this box, they used to have a leaflet with details of all the products. Now they've just got this little bit of card with one of those QR codes that takes you to an online leaflet, which is probably better. Um, but there wasn't a great detail about the product on it that I could see. They did have valuations and I've also gone to the brand's websites um, to find a little bit more information and just to confirm those valuations. Now the sneak peek for next time is Murad's Correct and Protect Broad Spectrum SPF 45 which is worth £70. Now I'm pretty sure, I haven't actually double checked it but um, <clears throat> because I've been doing four boxes so getting a bit confused between all of them i was going to check this to see if it's the same product that i got in the toil box this month which is absolutely fantastic if it is it's a really really great product and i have been using that an awful lot since i received it i really like it um <clears throat> and it will be great to get another one okay this edit though is called skin tech heroes and they say it's dedicated to all things skincare that heroes innovative technology for ultimate efficacy from injecting some new life into your skincare to trialing new products with innovative technology this month's edit contains five products worth over 140 pounds well it says five products but one of them is a little bit iffy as what you would call a product it's more like four products and a sample Anyway, the first item in here <clears throat> is by Kate Somerville. This is a good item. It's not really for me, but it is a really good product, not item. It's the Exfoliate Intensive Exfoliating Treatment. It's 15 mils. Rockerbox says it's worth £28 and it is on the brand's website at that price. And Rockerbox says, known as Hollywood's Two Minute Facial, this clinic inspired facial treatment by celebrity facialist Kate Somerville is designed to reveal smoother texture and pores in just two minutes whilst prepping your skin to better absorb the rest of your skincare regimen. The brand lists key ingredients of AHA lactic acid and BHA salicylic acid, which chemically exfoliate, working to loosen the glue between dead skin cells. Papaya, pineapple and pumpkin enzymes provide an enzymatic exfoliation, digesting dead skin cells to reveal natural glowing skin. Aloe vera, honey and vitamin E help smooth and soften the skin. Silica, which acts like a natural bead, physically exfoliates unglued skin cells. And rosewood and cinnamon extracts work to reduce the appearance of fine lines and wrinkles. You can use it once or twice a week, morning or night, and apply a thin, even layer to a clean, wet face, massaging in a circular motion for 30 seconds. Now, you leave it on for up to two minutes and rinse and gently pat dry. But if <clears throat> it does cause, it might cause the skin to tingle and flush for a short time. And if you do have sensitive skin, they do recommend leaving it on for less than one minute. It's also probably worth doing a patch test um, if you've never used this product before. So you apply it to a small area of your skin, first of all, to see what happens. So as I say, this isn't really a product for me, although I do have one that I am keeping in the house because it is a good product for other people um, <clears throat> in the house. Now, the reason I don't use it is because I have got sensitive skin and I am a little bit sensitive with products with that are really sort of intensively exfoliating which this one is <clears throat> so it just scares me a little bit i have tried it out before i think on my chin and you know i'm just not sure that i would want to use it on the areas of my face that are particularly sensitive like my cheeks so that's what it looks like it's a funny dark greeny sort of color and it does have a very distinctive smell. You can feel sort of the little um, physical exfoliating particles in a very, very, very tiny though. <clears throat> now it does smell very strongly, very strongly. It's, it's the one that reminds me of the museum. Now I think it is the cinnamon in it that does give that really strong, intense fragrance. Um, 
it's it's lasting even even after I've taken it off. <coughs> Clear my throat probably. Anyway, it's not one for me. So this new one that I've got, I will be passing on to someone else because a lot of my friends do actually love these sorts of products. Okay, the next item is by Umberto Giannini and it's the Scalp Rescue Mask. It's 150 mils. Rockerbox says it's got an RRP of £9.95 and it is available on the brand's website at that price. Rockerbox says, say goodbye to the itch and hello to healthy revitalized hair with this rescue mask. This soothing pre-treatment anti-dandruff scalp mask is the ultimate solution to your scalp problems. And the brand says salicylic acid may already be part of your skincare routine, so now make it part of your scalp care routine. It helps protect and balance scalp complexion to leave it looking and feeling healthier. It also lists other key ingredients of pineapple enzymes, anti-inflammatory properties help to create a healthy scalp, Coconut oil provides moisture, reducing frizz and healing breakage. Pyro pyroctone olamine, <coughs> clinically proven to destroy the fungus that causes dandruff. They say it's perfect for dry, itchy, flaky scalps, which need some TLC, and it's suitable for all hair types. And it's also safe for colour, chemically treated, relaxed hair and hair extensions. You use it as a first step in your wash routine, so you dampen your hair, apply direct to your scalp, massage it in to ensure full coverage, leave for 10 minutes, then rinse thoroughly and shampoo and condition as normal. Now, I haven't given this one a go, mainly because I am being a little bit extra cautious on what I use on my hair and only using things that really I need or are for my sort of definite hair type you know they're going to rehydrate me um, or something like that at the moment I don't have an itchy scalp and I don't have a flaky scalp I don't have dandruff I do occasionally get an itchy scalp so I'm thinking I do want to keep this <clears throat> and there's another reason I want to keep it too which is probably not the correct the right reason but it's because it smells so good so it's like this it's got this little nozzle thing that you then apply directly to your scalp. And it's like a little cream sort of texture, but it's the smell, it's fantastic. Oh, really, really strongly pineapple-y. Um, <clears throat> I can even smell it over the Kate Somerville product, which is quite unusual. Um, in fact, I'm gonna put it somewhere else as well because that, Kate Somerville product might be making it smell a bit different. Yeah, it's really very strongly pineapple with a little hint of coconut. So we're talking a good old fashioned pina colada here. And I do like my hair to smell of pina colada. It's one of my favourite smells. So I kind of want to keep it. I just don't know. I am going to keep it. I am going to keep it. And one day when my hair is beautifully and perfectly perfect, I will try it out. Or if I get an itchy scalp. Okay, the next item is by Flannery. Wild Jasmine Hyaluronic Dark Circles Relief and Uplift Eye, Uplift Eye Serum. So this is 20 mils. Rockerbox says it's worth £48. It's showing on the brand's website as 47 so it's not far off. Rockerbox says its innovative eye serum works to hydrate and revive the delicate eye area by reducing the appearance of dark circles and fine lines. And the brand lists key ingredients of butterfly bush. It's been clinically proven to protect against UVA damage, promote detoxification, detoxification even, whilst preventing the breakdown of collagen and boosting the skin's natural antioxidant defences. Moth bean extract aims to protect your skin against free radicals and UV damage whilst working to pre preserve a refreshed, youthful and glowing complexion. And hyaluronic acid, which aims to penetrate deep into the skin, hydrate intensely and instantly works to improve the appearance of fine lines and wrinkles. So as with most eye creams, you gently tap um, the serum around the eye area in the morning and the evening, allow the product to fully absorb before applying moisturiser. <coughs> does mention the brand actually does mention that um it does like using formulas in rich with textures and scents that take you on a journey of exploration with this particular product they say soothe your tension with wild jasmine 
This aroma will help you to appreciate the light nights and dusky sunsets. The fresh aquatic and rosewood scent is combined with notes of jasmine, sandalwood and amber that work in harmony with one another. I do like a little fragranced product. I'm going to try it on my arm just so that I can smell it. I made an interesting noise there. That's what it looks like. Can you see that there? So it's quite a lightweight sort of serum -y type texture. And you can tap it in, taps in really lovely actually. I like it. And there is a smell to it. It's very delicate though. A really delicate smell. <coughs> um, but there is one there, I think, just about. Yeah, there is. I don't know. I just could smell the pineapple then. So I'm not sure. With the other very strongly fragranced things that I've just put on my arm and hand. Yeah, I think it has got a smell. I think I'm losing my sense of smell a bit, which is really bad for these videos, isn't it? Anyway, I have used it today on this eye here. Um, I used a different one on this eye doing my four boxes. Um, and it did a nice job. No reaction. Nice and gentle. It does feel quite um, hydrating. So I'm happy with this. Now, I've got quite a few eye creams now, I think. So I'm not sure with this one. I think I will be keeping it because I do like it. Um, I think I'm going to, once my Ren eye cream has run out, I will be using this one. Um, yeah, I think that's how I'm going to do it. And then the other one that I got in my cohorted box, the Bybee one, the day, day eye cream one, I'll be using that probably more so on days I go out, I think. I'm not sure, but I will be using them all. I'm pretty sure. I'm really happy with the eye creams I've had lately because I do normally struggle with eye creams because it's my really sensitive the most sensitive part of my face is my under eye area and so many times I use them and they just don't suit me. So I've been very lucky lately, a bit too lucky. Um, the next product, I was going to say the final product, but there is another product, although it is more of a sample, the last thing. This is by Avant. It's um, the Hyalu Replenish Lip Balm. I think that's what they've called it. Um, it's 10 mils. Rockbox says it's worth £56 and it is showing on the brand's website at £40, uh, £54, which is, you know, everything's fluctuating in price at the moment. Rockbox says for satin smooth, hydrated lips, this soothing balm leaves lips irresistibly soft, youthful and nourished. And the brand says hyaluronic acid aims to penetrate deeply into the lips to hydrate and instantly help improve the appearance of fine lines and wrinkles around the mouth. Kapuasu is rich in vitamins B1, B2, B3, fatty and amino acids. Being from the cocoa family, Kapuasu aims to improve the tone and texture of your lips whilst protecting them against damage caused by free radicals. And to use, you smooth evenly over lips as needed and it may be used, it may be used under lipstick or alone. It says to discontinue discontinue use if redness or irritation occurs. Now, <clears throat> I do have problems with some of the Avant products that do cause reactions with my face. I don't know what it is. There must be some ingredient in there I'm a little bit more sensitive to. This is actually one of their products that I really, really, really like. I've had it before. Um, I use it as a sort of an overnight lip balm um, and it does a really good job. So I'll show you what it looks like, I think, on the back of my hand. There we go. Now, it's really odd because there are like bits in it. And I think you can actually almost see them, bits in it. So you think, what on earth is that? But they do blend out once they're on your lips. I think that almost the warmth of your lips makes them melt. They're, they're not blending out as well here as they do on my lips. Um, but I've used this before and I really, really like this product. It tastes nice as well. It's got a kind of a cocoa-y type uh, taste. Oh, it smells gorgeous too. It is a lovely product. I absolutely like this a lot. I might actually pause, use it because I, I was quite surprised that those bits didn't blend in there. And I'm just wondering if it's the warmth of your lips makes them melting. I did try this the other day and it did work on my lips. So 
bear with me a minute i'll come back with it on yeah it just melts when you put it onto your lips it's really really lovely to use so i'm very happy with this just feels like my lips have been covered in butter at the moment but it's nice nice feeling and it does smell and really nice and i don't think you meant to i'm sure there's a warning on it do not ingest or something but it tastes good too donate it then okay <clears throat> the next the last item then is this sample item now it's a bit of a, a, a weird one so you get this little cardboard box thing and then two little sachets inside and it's a lucy b spf 30 face serum two times three mils worth three pounds rockbox says protect your skin from uva and uvb rays all year round with lucy b's spf 30 face serum this vegan palm oil free broad spectrum sun cream is lightweight silky and perfect for sensitive skin perfect on the go each sachet contains enough for at least two uses so i suppose actually if you were out and about and you wanted to have some sun cream on you just in case then it's worth carrying around but i always put mine on underneath my makeup anyway so i don't know i don't know um i have tried it out today on this side of my face because i had another spf on this side so i thought well, i'll put it on this side with all the other products it was quite a lightweight one now let me find somewhere to put this yeah there we go it's very it is very lightweight it feels very sort of almost runny um it's an unusual feeling for a I'm not sure about it. Yeah. Blends in nicely though. Yeah. Do you know what? It's all right. It's not a bad little uh, sun cream. I think I was comparing it to another one I was using and I wasn't 100% sure, but in actual fact, it's an okay sun cream. It's just that this is a sample, so it really shouldn't be in counted as one of the five products having said that the other products are pretty good products really so we've got the exfoliate do you know what it's not for me but it is a good product my friends have tried it it is a good product um then we've got the scalp rescue again it's not really for me which is a shame because i want it to be it smells so good um I'm not 100% sure what to do with that. It seems a little bit silly keeping it here if I'm not going to use it. I'll have a think about it. I will have a think about that one. I might keep it for a while. That's what I do with some products I'm not sure about. Keep them for a month or so. Decide if have I used it. Am I ever going to use it? And at that point, then I do give it away. I've, I've sought through all my products. I've done a really big sort through recently, given loads of stuff away to family and friends, um, which is how I do this um then we've got the eye cream <coughs> i think was next wasn't it now oh, i really like that a lot so i will be using this one it's lovely then we've got the avant product love this it's lovely it's a great one for overnight it's one of my favorite overnight lip products that i've ever had and finally the little sample do you know what it's probably a lovely little spf um cream but i don't know um it's just a sample isn't it so you know anyway <clears throat> that was rocker box this month it wasn't that bad it wasn't the best in the world but it wasn't that bad i'm looking forward to next month because that murad product is if it is the one i'm thinking of it's fabulous so if you're after a sort of a two-in-one um, serum or um, SPF, I'm hoping it is the one that was in my toil box, but we'll soon find out, won't we? Anyway, I hope you enjoyed the video. I've made it through four videos in one day, which is the most I have ever done. I'm sorry if they're all awful, but, um, you know, I'm not 
feeling what I would say 100%. I'm just slightly concerned that my little tickly toad in the throat, it was a frog, but now it's a toad, is going to get worse. But we shall see. I hate it when I lose my voice because I love talking so much. Anyway. I hope you have a fabulous week. I'm not sure when I'm putting this out. It's number four. I don't know whether I'm putting it out. I might put it out before my cohorted one because um, that obviously you can only buy that if it's out as a one-off. But I don't, I don't know how I'm going to do it, to be honest with you. I just have to think about it and see how well I'm feeling. Anyway, sending you loads of positive energy and I hope you have a fabulous time wherever you are and everything goes your way. I don't want to go on too long because my cohorted video went on forever and I really apologise for that. I normally take a note of the time that's going but with that one I just didn't. There were so many products and I was I was really liking the box to be honest with you and that's why I kind of went on and I thought should I re-record and I thought no I can't. I'm already doing four videos in a day. That would mean five videos and that would not be good at all. Anyway, take lots and lots and lots and lots of care of yourself and hopefully I'll see you back here very soon. Bye-bye.